Cheers! Welcome, Welcome to, to Movie, Movie Bitches. Bitches! RuPaul's Drag Race, All Stars 8, Episode 8. Why do I feel like you've already said that? <laughs> because of the viewing party. <laughs> Speaking of, first things first, <laughs> shout out to our Patreon supporters. $5 a month gets you ad-free early access. $10 gets you access to our viewing parties, where I also said oh, RuPaul's Drag Race All-Stars 8, Episode 8. It's, um, it's a whirlwind. It's a whirlwind. It's a whirlwind. We got married. And it was a whirlwind. <laughs> That's so stupid. Such a specific reference. It's such a specific really, reference. Really, really yeah. enjoyed it. Yeah. yeah. Second thing, second, make sure to subscribe, share, whole, follow us on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Letterboxd. Click that thumbs up button. Yeah. Comment and be like, Do you think that we hate Jimbo? We don't. We don't. <laughs> In fact, I really enjoyed her this Oh, week. boy. Really enjoying chaotic bitch that is Jimbo this <laughs> Don't week. Don't touch, you fucking chaotic, chaotic bitch. bitch. Don't <laughs> touch, you fucking chaotic bitch. That was this whole episode, and I fucking loved it. Yeah. Speaking yeah. of, this episode begins. Yes. And play me like the bongos. Oh, yes. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, giant titties. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, play me like a bongo. Oh, oh bongo. Yeah. Oh, uh, of course, Alexis promises to uh, never forget. Oh, I will never forget you, girl. For the rest of was, my life. It was very um, Titanic, actually. I'll never let go, Jack. I'll never let go. Except, Shove um, into the deep abyss of the ocean. I'll never forget that, what you did for me, except for right now, later I won't in forget this episode. It. Uh, no, she didn't forget. She didn't forget. She just ignored. She just, um, you know, anyway. We'll get there. We'll anyway, get there. I'm still, I'm not even like mad at this point. No, because like, of course. But I'm just like, huh. Yeah. I really don't get this one, but we'll, we are not there yet. There's a whole episode. It's a whole so, episode. So, Kahana has gone home. That's Kahana, Kahana, so Kahana. Mufasa, Mufasa, Mufasa. <laughs> Right. Everyone voted for Kahana, except um, uh, Candy, Candy voted, voted for Alexis. For Alex <laughs> that vote's actually from me. Really? <laughs> no, but oh! <laughs> Could you imagine if, if that, that were the case, true? would that have changed everything? Somehow I doubt it. The girls walk in, Jimbo shakes her leg. To reveal baloney. Baloney falls out. Baloney! She throws it like a big pizza pie. <laughs> pizza pie. A pizza gun. A pizza gun. Pachoo! Pachoo! Let's go! Now! Here go, Joey! <laughs> then Rue shows up. Of and course. The library is, is still, still closed. closed. Um, I think permanently. Oh, yeah. shucks. Yeah. A merino. Yeah. Yeah, but the maxi challenge is yes. you have to pick a trunk. Well, actually, La La Rie gets to pick everyone's trunks of a former winner. You're a winner, baby, of All Stars. And use fabrics inspired by them because they weren't the actual fabrics. Of course not. To create a look. Yes. Uh, it's a design challenge. It's a design challenge. And I guess I was glad they didn't... There was talk of, well, you know, Shea Coulee wouldn't wear that or... Uh, so right. Nick's hair would look like this, and so do we have to look do... like them, or is it just inspired by them? Is it? Ins it's really just their palette that you're then making it your own. Yeah, it's not um, try and family resemblance. Get their essence. That, no. So you know, I was glad that like that wasn't. Yeah, because it could have gone real Michelle Visage. Shut up, Ross. Just Why like, are we talking who about cares? how? Monet exchangey was this? We didn't have to I do that. I didn't care. Yeah, yeah. And I'm happy that it wasn't yeah. there. Now I feel like, for me. Yeah. I would have had more fun perhaps switching this mm. and the ball challenge. Timeline wise. Timeline wise. Absolutely. Oh, there are enough winners at this point to have 12 now. Oh, well. <laughs> Almost. I mean, you could, it doesn't have to be all stars. They do stars have a double winners. winner. They so. do have the double win. You know. Yeah. No, but it, it could just be contestants or uh, winners of all of Drag Race or whatever, right? They can figure it out. I, this Make prompt, that a singular design challenge. This prompt was. Who cares? Who cares? Here's fabric. At least it was nice fabric. Yes. And it was nice accessories. But, like, who cared? No, of course. There was no... No. It could have been, like, colored boxes like they've done in the past. Right, it, like, yeah. Here's, here's green fabric. I told her not to wear green. I hate it. 
they could do one where it was like the winners of previous design challenges, mm -hmm. like the, the materials that they used, sure. now you get, and you have to make a, a design out of it. Yeah. Because you know if you fail, it's not the fabrics, it, it was you, because someone made a winning look out right, of it. Right, right, so, right. So, you know, yeah, that's I think that'd little, be kind of fun. A little more of a... I feel like a twist, an interesting little... Oh. I think, too, it didn't help that the category was, you're a winner, baby. Like, so... Right. It didn't really have a, a point of view or a focus necessarily. N no. You know, it was just make a cute outfit. Yeah. So it really was inconsequential. It didn't matter. No. And Jimbo's uh, procrastination yeah. is the main storyline. Wow, look at this. <gasps> look at this. Right? This would be amazing as a headpiece. I like this. This is expensive. Oh my God, look at this. Ooh, I need to take a nap. All this excitement. Work Turned out room. not to be an issue, mostly. Uh, she really, you know, well, she didn't do makeup or hair. Fair. Uh, and, I mean, I, I'm, I, I'm we excited, excited to talk yeah. about it. But, uh, so I guess she, you know. She readjusted her time. Utilized yeah, in a yeah. way that, whatever. But she sure. made it work. It was a lot of telegraphing, right? Circular. Oh, Lalaurie, you're going to go home, girl. Oh, no. I mean, it was so obvious. Mrs. Davis, you're going to go, go home. home. Oh my God! I'm so glad I have Alexis by my back. Yeah. Oh, I'm so I just won, so I certainly feel more secure. I can't with, wait for oh, what's I can't next. Wait to see oh, what happens just, oh. next? Oh, top four is gonna be. So I was like, oh girl. Oh no. Oh no, Mallory, you're gonna go home. Oh no, this is Kasha Davis. She's gonna go home. <laughs> so it was very, very, very obvious. Yeah. Uh, but it was a lot of like, remember this from earlier in this season? Right. Remember this? Oh, here's you, this clip of this thing that we already like, showed you in this episode. Essentially, it was like uh, Ben de la Kerm's abacus. Yes. You know, the whole episode. Well, you've won one, right? So yeah. how do you feel about the fact uh, yeah, that you, you won and one. if you did Oh, that, you've been in the bottom and, uh, a few uh, times and oh, oh my God. So if that means this, then they're going to, and I was like. Right, Raven and. And and you're like, yay! Oh, oh I'm so excited. They're for, just oh, sitting just to like, talk about cares? fucking track records. Chanel's gonna try and give them advice that no one's gonna take. No and, one's gonna. Know. I mean, probably rightfully so. I don't know if Chanel is the queen that I would go to for a design challenge. No, but also, what are you really gonna say? Like, oh, it's too late now, girl. I it's mean, it's too you know. late now. You know, unless you know Tim Gunn is coming on. Right. And even then. I don't know if he could save anyone in, at this moment. At this moment. You know what I mean? Sure. It's, it's, it's Perhaps. I don't know when they all talked. You know, it takes right. a while, but whatever. But um, Chanel has fabulous. She looks great. Purple feather, yeah. you know. Makeup. Great. It was like Alexis's look, but better. Sure. But Alexis made her look in, you know, uh, an 27 hour hours. Yeah. So, you know. Yeah, I don't know. It seems so confusing to me. They're all like, I stayed up all night working on this. And I'm like, so there's no time limit. It's no like, you know, okay, designers. No, I think that's why they're all fucking burning out. Because they can just work as much as they want to. And then they it, feel like they constantly have to work. It's it like seems... work from home rules where you're just yeah, like, oh, I, if the office is my home, then I'm always at the office, which yeah. means I always need to be working, which means, oh my God. I mean, it seems to be. Christian Siriano is not turning off the lights at Saying, the end of the okay, night. Okay, guys, go okay, home. Okay, everyone wait. Take a we'll break. resume in the morning. Yeah, no, they no. are not seemingly doing that. Uh, so I don't know. I feel like that'd be nice to have it be like, well, you got as much done as you could in this day. Yeah, or give them more time. Well, I'll sure that works. During working hours. Yeah, yeah, right. If it's that big of a design That's challenge. That's also a possibility. Or give, right, give them two days. Or give them seamstresses. But then also give them a, a twist. Like, I would be way more interested in a design challenge that didn't, wasn't predicated on can you sew. Right. You know, because sewing, of course, is a skill, yes. absolutely. But the design of it, so if you can, like... And the concept. Think of something and then have someone help you, you know make it perfect exactly how many more fabulous designs would we be getting yeah and then you get to see their process the creative oh, I process i think it should be like this and da, da, da. particularly then if you make it a more interesting category yeah you know and actually that's what i really liked about legendary did you yeah. ever watch it i did yeah the costumes were great the, well but also like they would have those meetings with the costume designers where they'd be like exactly. well here's what the category and is here's what we so think, what do we think we want to do how are we going to work and it like it could have used some work maybe do one design challenge that involves sewing it yourself and yep. one that has um, right you do a double or a seamstress yeah. just shake it up a little bit right the ball doesn't have to be three looks or maybe it can be but one is you make it yourself the other you have a designer that's helping right. you to make it and you concept it with them. Right. And then the third one is... You brought it. You brought it. Love that. Anyway, Chanel and Raven were 
there. Yeah. It was uneventful for yeah. the most part. For the most part. This episode was pretty thin. It was so thin, but um, Jimbo was, you was know, carrying it on her yep. back. She absolutely was. So, Candy, when you're fooling around with guys, they like to slap your titties. titties. And, like, Lala just, like... Oh. <laughs> 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 oh my god! You were about to answer and it was a yes. I'm so excited to see where this is. No one knows how it's gonna turn out. Wow. It's not helping you help me. <laughs> yeah, now, sisters stick together. Oh no! Lala, yeah, now, sister, stick You're together. You're in danger, girl! Yeah. So, quick commercial break and we'll be back with the runway. Category is You're a Winner, baby. I'm a winner, baby. I'm a winner, baby. <laughs> Aru walks down the runway. Yeah. I mean, I'm excited that at least, even though this was a chaotic mess, uh -huh. that she's trying something. I mean, this uh, shades of gender fuck Ru. Sure. Yeah, you know, if you squinted, it was far away. <laughs> I felt like she was fresh off of a regional production of Cats. I mean, it looked like you know she got caught in the, you know like. Right, like, yeah. She hadn't quite de dragged from, you know, like right. the makeup was half on and the wig was the half wig got, off. The wig got caught by one of the cats on stage, you know. It was, it was like a dog that had cut her own hair. I mean, it was wacky. Yeah. And I couldn't stop staring at it. And it was different. It. So it there's was that. different. I hated the shoes. This was a mess. Yes. But in a fun way. Sure. Yeah. So there's that. I But I, but I liked it. Uh -huh. And didn't yeah. at the same time. I don't know. It was different and weird. I like that it was weird. Sure. And different. Anyway. Anyway, first up, Candy Muse in Monet Exchange's box. <laughs> um, uh, this was uh, better than I expected. It was going to be after her. Uh, she seemed to be having trouble. It was better than I thought it would end up. Yeah. It was very simple. Yes. This black patent leather, you know. Kind of like quilted almost or something. Yeah, it was like a. At least had texture to yeah, it. Yeah, textured. I think it helped. It wasn't going to have straps. Mm. It was going to be strapless. That's what the issue was. And then she added the she straps. Added so the it really straps. helped. It really did help. You're right. Oh, uh, I do think the tits were too high. Yeah, uh, in the end. But uh, it was simple, but better than, I already said that, but it was simple, but better than I thought it would be. Yeah. The next out, Jimbo. In the <laughs> so weird. So, and I loved it. Yeah. This huge pink latex you know, poofed uh, lantern sleeves yep. with the hood and the, like, 60s mod snowman yeah. face There was also face kini, but it was like a whole, it wasn't even a face kini, it was, it was just, just like a just whole. A face. Yeah, yeah. A smiley face. Um, it, there was something about this, this is going to be a weird deep pull, but that reminded me of uh, Jumping Flash, which is a PlayStation game that I have brought up before. I okay. will put a thing here. Yeah. It's not exact, okay. but there's something, I feel like it could be uh -huh. in the same. Yeah. Well, I did really connect with your other reference that you said that she looked like a Goomba. It was oh like Dayglow 60s mod Goomba. It was. And I was like, e yeah. yes. Um, yeah, the way that the head, the face, you know, like all, all of it. it. Yeah. And the big shoulders. Yes. You know? Yeah. I was, um, I really, really enjoyed this quite yeah. a bit. Like, I want to put her... Uh, face on the snowman poster, you know? Yes, yes. Mr. Police I, mean, I gave you I all, gave of the, you clues. all the clues. <laughs> <laughs> the great hairy hole. Ah, great hairy hole. Uh, so anyway, I fucking love this and it made me laugh. And yeah. um, I, but it was also really well tailored. Like, it yes, it was. Easily she, could have been a mess. And right. It, and it absolutely wasn't. No, she turned it out. I really love this. This is my favorite of the night. Absolutely. Yeah. So the next is La La Rie, and I was nervous because I thought it was going to be worse than it was. It wasn't great, but it was fine. I mean, she had this orange, sparkly fabric. So I'm taking all this orange with me. La 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 La. Bye. With the little kind of priest collar of silver. She could have done without the. Without, I don't think she needed the collar. Because she had it on the sleeves too. Yeah. I mean, it added. Something. Some kind of detail? Sure. She only had one sleeve. She ran out of fabric. Right? I mean, apparently. Would it have been better if there was no sleeves? Uh, probably. Just you know? take the second sleeve off. Just yeah. get rid of it. Yeah, maybe. The real detriment for me was actually this wig. Oh my 
God, she had a receding wig, a receding hairline wig. And the color was ugly. I just didn't care for it. I it thought this was a mess. It, she could have really elevated the look if she had a different hair. Yeah. I did like this color, like the dress color on yeah. her. Like yes. I thought it was a ref it was, it was a refreshing vitamin C. You sure. Know? It, was, it was a little vitamin C pack. Ooh. Yep. You know, I liked it. The dress was fine. Again, it was as simple and fine as, as candies. candies, I thought. Maybe even a little better made. Just Honestly, of maybe a little. The seams and stuff like that. Right, well, like the seams of Candy's tits, you could see where she added you the, know. the, yeah. So, uh, but this wig. Oh, the wig. Next out, Alexis Michelle. Alexis Michelle. Alexis Bledel. She said, hello, Dolly. I guess I kind of. No. Really just the feather crown, you know. Sure. Beautiful, you know, embroidered tapestry-like purpley blue fabric. I, I saw it just as blue. Like to me this it's was like, like a, a royal blue. It's like a deep purpley blue. A purpley blue, to me, sure. You know. Sure. Uh, but uh, Indigo. Yeah, there you go. Well made. I liked it a lot. Very well made. Beautiful. Uh, I don't think she needed the tool bustle train. Yeah. yeah. It didn't add anything for me. Well, it was like two pieces. It should it needed to be fuller or I, I don't need a I don't need it. So I could have done without that. But I thought this was very nice. I thought it was beautiful. I wasn't inspired by it, let's no, say that. No, I wasn't wowed. Well, I was wowed at like the, the craftsmanship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then last, Miss Jessica Wilde. Mm -hmm. I liked this. I felt like it was too heavy on the bottom. It almost worked. It almost and worked. in concept, very interesting. Yes. It was giving Carrie Bradshaw. It was giving Carrie Boho. Bradshaw. Boho. I just wanted like one or two less like folds on yeah. the bottom. One or two too less folds. Fabric. Ever so slightly higher hem. Yes. Maybe ever so slightly higher waistline. And maybe higher heels with the shorter maybe hem. And it's it like, was, ooh, um, real legs. It was really close. Yeah. And I really liked it. And yeah. it wasn't a bottom look. No. But it just was almost really great. Yeah. Agreed. <laughs> so, wow. That was it. It was a content... Um, light, light episode. Content light episode, yeah. in fact, even yeah. though it was still an hour. And six minutes long Ugh. or whatever. Anyway, so um, shockingly a little bit to me, not shocking, but uh, Alexis Michelle, Alexis Michelle <laughs> wins. I think they, I thought know. it should have been Jimbo, but they probably were like, oh my God, we can't do it again. Why not? Why not? This one does she actually deserve. Yeah, right? I think they were like, well, Alexis has to win, win one. one. Um, not that she didn't deserve it. I just no. thought Jimbo's was better. Jimbo's was better. But Jimbo's was also tailored well. And unique made and crazy and, and fun. It made and, me laugh. Yeah. It made me cackle with but, joy. And I was really excited. The only thing that might have been better is if... She had the, to lip sync in it? Oh. Well, first of all, okay, if she had to lip sync in it and she won, <laughs> would have been like... <laughs> because it's all just about these boots are made for a walk and there you go, you know. Boop, boop, boop. It was almost giving Ornatia in its like faceless, you know, yes. thing amongst a, you know, hooded... Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I get that. If the pearl, uh, string of pearls had somehow, you know, was started as a, as a upside down, as, a, uh, as, as a, frown. a frown, and then, you know, there was some sort of release, sure. and it was like, what? that would have, I think, sent me over the edge. Sure. Or she could, like, flick it with her tongue or something to, like, uh, make it go up and down. I mean, this I was fucking great, but I just, yeah. some, somehow that would Having have, the, I think the that pearls move. You know, if she had more time, perhaps she could play with it. It really would have sent me over the yeah. edge. Uh, but yes, Alexis wins. Yes. And Candy and Lala are in the bottom. I agree with this. I absolutely agree with this. They were clearly the weakest. It was all, they all did pretty well, you know, but they were the weaker disaster, yeah. two of, of the five or whatever. Uh, neither here nor there. Alexis wins. Uh, Lala and Candy are in the bottom. Yes. And go back to vote and Jimbo just sort oh. of. <laughs> Over there, darling. Over there. It's that way. It's that way. Uh, oh. Okay. Very silly. It was getting me every time yeah. when, they, when they were sitting, what you know, watching the the lip sync. Oh, I, can't I can't. See. I don't know what's going on. Um, uh, I got. I have to vote for someone. <laughs> I'm. Uh, it didn't get old. No, it didn't. I really enjoyed it I did too. because it's the only thing that's keeping this. It was the only fun light thing in this episode. That's very true. Yeah. They announced that the assassin is uh, Nikki Doll. Nikki Doll. I almost said Nikki Fresh. I would also be here for that. If Nicole Richie just came on to be a lip sync assassin. Yes. Also, I would be down for them to lip sync to any Nikki Fresh song, fully on board. It might have been better than this um, lip sync, honestly. This lip sync was Look, pretty I blah. love These Boots Are Made For Walking and Nancy Sinatra here for it. Yeah. I don't know if 
this is the best lip sync song on the fly. Like, I think you could certainly do a bit. Yeah, you could make it a number that's like, oh, that's her boots this are made for walking number. Yeah, exactly. Maybe you mix in a couple other, like, boot things or, right. or walk but things. But it's, you know, know, it's a it's a, a slow groove. Right. You know. Um, walk this way. You could mash it up, right? These boots are making for walk this way. Hey! And you could, like, yeah. walk all silly, right? Yeah. You know. Tossing some Monty Python in there. Uh, yeah, Ministry of Silly Walks, yeah. Yeah, you know. Um, you like you could make something and have fun with it. Yeah. But as a pure just here now lip sync to the song, it's, it's a little low energy, a little a battle, it's it is not. Yeah. Um and this was a this was a strange one. Well, first of all, they look like mother daughter. They really did, it was weird. They're both in these blue, you know, boots. Yep. And it looks like Nikki Doll is her, you know, petulant teenager, like Mom! Um, and stop yeah, very Mildred Pierce and stop embarrassing me. Yeah, very that. And Alexis, his look was it didn't fit. It didn't fit, and it read like I was like, is this is, she, is this her br? Like, it was a like Golden Girl somehow, like the, with the white hair and like it was almost dance momsy or something. Something. It was very strange. And Nikki Doll seemed to be on a different planet. Well, um, she it sounded like she would just literally gotten in from LAX from France. I don't know. Perhaps New York. I think she lives in New York. Okay, okay. still. But it was a very sort of I don't know. Both of them seemed um, a little low energy. Yeah. Which is part of the song. Yep. And a little bit like, am I here? What's going on? Sure. Whoop a doo. I don't know. There was something very strange about it. And Alexis's yeah. split was like, How? Bitch. $10,000 calls for a split. Good thing I can do one. I was like, I mean, yeah, you mostly did. That's certainly worth stripping for. And that's certainly worth stripping for. If the neon palm trees didn't win her over, the spitting dolphins will. You know, it's just like, like her split compared to like a Jasmine Kennedy. Right, yeah, it, you know, it was a little, I was like, oh, she, oh, she did the splits. It, Alexis wins and drama. She, uh, she, she picks La La Ri to go home. And I just, I really don't understand the logic of her choice here. Well, like across the board, right? Okay, she Track owes, record, they said are the same. Track record's the same. She owes La La Ri a favor, whatever. Um, sure. Candy and her aren't that close. Nope. They have no existing- We ain't got no ties. Alliance that we are aware of. Correct. Alexis has said on record, she has a crush on Lala. Like, all of the, everything points to- Lala just won an episode and was in the top- In the top. The episode um, before. I, I just like, it was just, I don't, I don't quite know. She'll probably say something like, well, I thought on a whole, Candy had been doing better the whole season. Right, sure. But then, again, uh, to add to the, you know, six point whatever, if you're ba basing it on who's the biggest competition, right. probably... Then get rid of Candy because you have a great opportunity. And like you said in the viewing party at the end, it's the final four now. So really, I think the voting is pretty much over. I think the vote's over, so it's not like anyone's going to retro, you know, retribution. You right. Know, I didn't know. Maybe she was afraid that like the fan vote was going to be more on Candy's side. Although I I'm like, girl, I don't know if that's this is not a cute look for you now where you're like, right. I'll never forget, Lala, what you did for me. Goodbye. Well, and this attempt at humor, this is the hardest thing I've ever right. had to do. And, and I'm, I'm not, not joking, joking, bitch. Bitch. The hardest decision I've ever had to make. I'm not joking, bitch. Is it because Lala was an orange? Is it that? Is it that deep of a? No. I don't, if it was Kahana, right? She and I, because she was Coco and I don't know, it was weird. I don't think she's good at comedy. Rude. Maybe, um, she doesn't say, comedy's in the house. Broadway's in the house. She said, Broadway's in the house. <laughs> what? I don't think she's good at comedy, period. End of sentence. <laughs> <laughs> I am very sarcastic right now. Yes. Uh, so I, I... Well, we'll see next week, I we'll guess. We'll see next week. <laughs> I will see next week. That's true. That's true. I genuinely don't know yeah. how this all makes... How this comes out in the wash. You know, how this makes sense. How she justified this. Yeah. But that's what she did. Yep. And I think she decreased her odds of winning. Yes. She wasn't going to win. What no. are we talking about? You know, It's Jimbo point. and Jessica. It's Jimbo and Jessica at this point. Uh, for me, at least. Yeah. So, 
Um, cheers to this um, Harry Hole, you know. Uh, <laughs> Pearl necklace. Austin Powers lizard Goomba. Yeah. Loved it. Ornatia. Yeah. It's all of those things mixed together. It was so good. Yeah. I really enjoyed it. Yeah. I want to cut together, you know, her, somehow her lip syncing in this. I want to find oh. a way. I want to find a way. You got something for me. Something you call love, but confess. These boots are made for walking. And that's just what they'll do. One of these days, these boots are gonna walk all over you. Jimbo. Ah, what? Congratulations. Ah, You're a winner, baby. Cheers well, to Jimbo for keeping it light. Cheers to Jimbo for keeping it light. For keeping the baloney oh. alive. Oh, my God. And to La La Rie for the La La Rie experience. Oh. It was an experience it that was. I enjoyed. I, I will never forget. I will never forget. Oh, I just want to be a drag queen that has fun, honey, and just live my best life, Lord.